guys what's up hope everybody's doing good out there today and thanks for taking a little time to watch the video much appreciated and today i'm going to give you guys a tour of my 2022 rig i uh, just got the wrap done on it got everything squared away actually i'm getting ready to leave this weekend i got three tournaments two bassmaster opens and the toyota series championship that i'll be fishing out of it and i'll be fishing out of the rig uh, all this uh, next year 2022 and just gonna take you guys for a tour of the whole rig here. But first of all, just wanted to give a big thank you to Boatworks and Baitworks here in Springfield, Missouri for making all this possible. Uh, Drew Sanford, David Sanford, uh, Tim Reed at Skeeter Boats. If it wasn't for those guys, uh, none of this would have been possible. So a big thank you there. And if you guys are looking for a new boat, you're looking for you know an unbelievable tackle shop, financing, uh, I'll include the Boatworks and the Baitworks link in the description here. They can set you up. They got Camus boats, they got Bass Cat Skeeters, uh, all full line, top of the end tackle store. It's just really a cool setup. And these guys support fishing. They all fish themselves. So uh, um, just a really good uh, company to be part of. <clears throat> so anyway, here it goes. I'm gonna give you guys a tour from one end to the other. Okay, there's the new rig. Um, I had a couple of people comment as far as the truck goes. Everybody knows the truck I've had before. It was uh, 10 years old, had over 400,000 miles on it. Got the upgrade to the uh, Dodge Ram 2500 uh, diesel this year. Um, really a smooth ride, man. I just really like this thing. It's just such a great thing to tow with. Really happy with that. But to the important end here is the boat here. I'm gonna give you guys a walk through the FXR 20 Skeeter 2022 model. Uh, now sort of show you guys what I like about the thing a little bit. Um, first of all, I'll start at the end here, man. It's got a really good step up here to, for helping to launch. You got a, two little ladder rungs there that's really good for launching if like, like so you don't get your feet wet. I've got the Minn Kota Ultrex 112 trolling motor spot lock. Um, I've ran this trolling motor for the last two or three years on it. It's been a really good uh, trolling motor for me. And uh, the units this year, the, the FXR Skeeter comes factory with the two units I have in there as far as the electronics. These are the Hummingbird Helix 12s. Got them up front and on the console. Uh, factory, stock from the factory. It's got great mount there, comes from the factory. Just super solid as can be. And uh, awesome trailer here. Uh, fiberglass fenders on, it's got really cool rims here. Nice wide tires on there. The thing tows really, really well. Really happy with that goes. The hole on it, man, is you talk about a hole that gives a nice smooth ride and like two to three foot chop, just lands super soft, super fast, boat will run mid seventies on a light load. Now back in the back end, I got my two eight foot blade power poles here. These are, you know, necessities in my opinion for shallow water anchoring or beaching your boat on the bank. <clears throat> you can also put uh, drift paddles on these things to drift to basically drift through open water you trim them down put the drift paddles in there and it'll slow you down drifting across big flats got the new yamaha sho 250 on there new graphics the, this is the first graphic change they've had forever with yamaha super sharp looking there um, got the 10 inch hydraulic jack plate this year um, I've always ran a hydraulic plate. You can do so much with the hydraulic plate, guys, as far as pl uh, planing out in shallow water. You know, if you idle across big flats, it really flattens the boat out, allows you to idle a lot more uh, effect effectively and efficiently uh, in that shallow water. <clears throat> now, on the inside here, I'll show you a little bit about the console. It's got a Hummingbird Helix 12 on the front, on the console here. And the thing that I really like about the... Uh, having both units being the same is if one of them goes down you can always switch it out and have the same unit so it's always good to have the same unit up front of course the boat comes stock with a hot foot i had him remove the hot foot because you guys have probably seen the videos i've done i don't like hot foots whatsoever um, the upgrade i had the zxr 20 last year if you guys have seen it the big difference on that is the uh, control switches here they're led lights on the fxr 20 here um, toggle switches on the ZXR. Really nice here, nice and flush with everything. Got your gauges there. Um, <clears throat> right here you've got your two uh, remote fills here. This is for the fill on your boat as far as the, uh, the drain plug. Here's the live well. Um, here's the uh, radio. It's actually got a stereo in here, which you guys know I don't listen to music, so I probably won't be using that. And then here you've got your uh, dry lock um, fans right here. This is a fan that will dry out your compartments. 
um, which is really nice. It keeps moisture out of there from milled in, and then you've got a battery gauge here. Okay, so anyway, let's get up in the boat here. I'll show you what we got up in the boat. Let's start out in the back end. And I've run in Dakota lithium batteries this year. I've got three Dakota lithiums. These lithium batteries, great guys are great. They just half the weight in the boat. You really notice it. You get so much a better hole shot. You don't ever run low on power with these things. These things will have the same amount of power when you start out in the morning. You can run them on high all day long. They still have the same power at the end of the day. There's my pump system down there, battery charger. Um, the other Dakota Lithium's there. I actually have two cranking batteries rigged up parallel for my uh, all my electronics, uh, all my gauges, pumps, that type of stuff, so I never run low on power. And then there's a nice little switch there that allows you, in case you have a uh, battery that goes dead, you can switch it over and get going and everything. So that's the rear end. Nice big live wells here. Um, hold a giant load of fish in there. You can hold a 40 pound bag of fish. The things keep your fish alive great. Um, back storages, you got two storages on the back here. Nice deep storage compartments. You can hold a lot of tackle, whatever you want to do on that. Now, here's a cool thing on it. It's got the sea deck flooring here this year um, with the FXR20. These things are great because you know how the floor carpet gets wet. It'll stay wet forever. This thing dries out immediately. It's really nice. Seats are awesome in this boat. They'll cushion you. They just they are like landing on a, a goose down pillow, pillow bed. Super, super comfortable. Um, got your cooler right here. Yeah, nice, keeps everything nice and cold for your drinks and everything. Got a dry box here, just like a day dry box for odds and ends. Um, this right here, this is the compartment that I keep all of my uh, uh, dies. I haven't loaded the boat yet, but all my dies, pliers, you know, just everything that I'm going to use for the day. A nice little box for that. Here is the uh, first store. There we sign. have it, guys. There's the new rig for 2022. Just uh, hopefully I'll go out there and catch some bass in it this year. But I'm sure you guys will be seeing a lot throughout the course of the season. I'll be doing a lot of videos in it, a lot of... Uh, on the water lessons, uh, tournaments, that type of stuff. Again, big thanks to Boatworks and Baitworks here in Springfield, Missouri for making it all possible. I'll include the links in the description here. Check them out. Huge supporters of the sport. So anyway, just wanted to show that to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see y'all later.